Morning guys, uh, we're on another Puck John Pie today, a little bit of an adventure. Uh, down here we're going to pop down to uh, the Watch Along Temple, it's a big landmark uh, in Phuket and uh, massive uh, Buddhist um, temple grounds, so we're going to check that out and then um, pop down to a Muslim restaurant and he serves the best Massaman beef I've ever had in my entire life. So. I'm going to take you there and, uh, and show you that uh, Massaman Beef hopefully is open sometimes. I'm not sure about the schedule of when they're open, but uh, I'll put a uh, link in the description below uh, how to find that restaurant uh, that we're going to go to today. And then tonight we're going to pop over to the uh, Qatar Night Market. So there is a difference with the Qatar Night Markets. There's the Walking Street, uh, which has been built around um, the front beach section of Qatar. And then on Saturday and Sunday, sorry. Yeah, Saturdays, uh, is it Fridays and Saturdays or Saturdays and Sundays? Saturday, Sunday. Okay, Saturday and Sunday. Um, there's the real Qatar market, which obviously comes in and goes out. So uh, we might cut this into two parts uh, just for the market tonight, um, but just depends. So stick around. Um, just another day cruising around, and we'll talk to you soon. So here at the entrance to the temple, Pupe is buying some uh, offerings for the temple to do uh, our prayers. We'll make our way into the temple here in a minute. So there, they're just out the front here. Some flowers, a candle, and some uh, incense. Okay. Here we are, we've arrived. Now, I don't think we'll be able to take uh, any footage inside uh, this temple. But basically what happens here is you're gonna um, light your candle and uh, your incense off the candle place your incense into the uh, pots and go inside the temple and shake your lucky cup until one of the sticks falls out and once that stick falls out you then read your um, basically you read your um, future of uh, what you can expect, whether or not it's uh, good luck or bad luck. So it's yeah, it's very uh, spiritual spl spiritual place. And uh, during the day, these guys over here let off uh, firecrackers as well. So he's getting them ready at the moment. Just kind of a bit of a look here in a minute, but it's a beautiful day. A little bit of wind, so it's not too hot. So that was a quick look at uh, Wat Shalong. Um, you can spend, I suppose if you're on a tour, you'll spend as long as the tour takes you, but um, you know, there's a good hour to spend walking around and absorbing the um, Thai culture. Uh, if you want to come out here, we've been here many times, so we just come out and uh, do a, uh, a prayer and see what uh, good luck may uh, shine on you on the day that you come out, but um, unfortunately I missed out. A bit of bad luck was coming my way, so you just leave the ticket there. Uh, I don't know what it said, it was in Thai, but Pupo got some good luck, so with the good luck ones, you uh, could put it in your pocket, and uh, hopefully uh, it comes true. 
So let's go and check out uh, a bit of food. The um, Shlong Circle, it's called, has been a notorious intersection over the years where you can spend, I don't know, half an hour trying to get through this bloody roundabout. So over the last few years, they've been building this uh, tunnel. So we've never actually been through it yet. So I'm going to uh, go down and check it out. Uh, no bikes. No truck. And no trucks. So if you do get caught down here with a bike, you're in big strife. And yesterday there was a policeman on the other side of the tunnel. So be mindful of that. Don't come down with a motorbike. This took a couple of years, if not longer, to build. I never thought it was actually going to finish. But, um, yeah. saves there. Uh, oh, I reckon between 20 and 30 minutes of congestion there on that corner. It's terrible. Mm. So boring before. Mm. Made it hard on the yeah. hotels too because everyone knew about the problem. And Don't everyone, was, to come here. Yeah, everyone was staying away from here because it was too hard to get down here. So I've freed it back up now, which is good. We're not quite ready for lunch yet. So this is Nahan Beach. The camera run, camera run flat. Come down here uh, yesterday or the day before. And um, so we come and check out this beach now. We're creeping into high season. So high season basically means that the uh, stormy weather's passed. And once that stormy weather passes, it makes the sea like a mill pond. So, in off season, or low season, yeah, this will. Let's wait for um, yeah, in off season, this this place can get I don't know two or three foot of swell, and um, it's pretty dangerous to swim at. But in high season, which looks as though we're just starting now. We'll go and have a look at the conditions of this beach because it is a beautiful beach. I proposed to Poopa here as well. Sick. Sick. Mm -hmm. Oh, sad. Okay. So I'm not quite sure how it looks on the camera, but you've got turquoisey blue coloured. Mm. Water out here. The blue. It's beautiful. Yeah. No weather. Yeah. No. So if you want a lazy day, this is the place you want to be. Awesome. Nice and quiet, but just beautiful. Once high season starts, you'll get the uh, boats coming in and they park here. Lots of them. So I've just started to uh, make their way in there. So, a little while ago, underneath these trees, there used to be a few more makeshift restaurants and bars but um, the army came in and moved them away but yeah, you've still got all those um, restaurants up there so you can have a bit of lunch put your car up there or your motorbike and come down and spend a day just chilling out and the Nahan Hotel about 200 bucks Australian a night. It uh, overlooks the Nahan Beach area. I haven't stayed up there before, but uh, sunsets in those rooms would be amazing, I'm sure. Let's have a bit of walk. Let's see if they're still doing massages down here on the beach. Looks as though you can still 
get your um, chair and your umbrella set up down there on the beach. But bear in mind, those umbrellas aren't UV protective. So make sure you're uh, still lathered up in a lot of sun cream because underneath that shade there you're going to feel as though that you're in a nice shaded area for the day until you finish at the beach and go home like a lobster and spoil your whole holiday so just be mindful of that and that's just not here that's everywhere in uh, Phuket make sure you've always got your sun cream applied you don't want to ruin a couple of weeks on one bad day here we go got a bit of a fight Okay, yeah, so you can still get your massages down here on the beach. Very affordable, nice and relaxing. Once you're finished, you can have a beer, have a coconut, go back down to your little chair and your umbrella. And I've never really seen it too populated down here, so you know, it's probably driving wise from Patong. 20 25 minute drive. Um, but especially this time of the year when it creeps into this high season, wow, you can't beat it. Best beach in Phuket by far. money changed so the money change uh, passport yes and um, then they observed the notes so out of the money we changed there was two two notes that they rejected on quality so yeah just bear that in mind but as we we're looking last night we checked another three changes before we actually uh, changed the money and straight across the road it was um, 20 baht even, and then it was 20.47 where we ended up changing it. So just um, get the Google rate the day that you're thinking about changing your money. Scan a few of the um, changes to see who's the strongest, and then and then do your deal. So if you, you know, if you got time and it works out to be you know worth it. If it's only five bucks or ten bucks, maybe it's not worth it. But anyway, that's how you do it. And uh, let's go check out this restaurant. Okay, so parking's a bit of an issue getting up to this restaurant. So we've had to park a little bit down the street and uh, make a walk up to the restaurant. Makanan Islam. It's the restaurant name. Yeah, as you can see, parking's an issue, so motorbox, not a drama. Yeah, look out for this sign here, and uh, it's always pumping. Busy, busy, busy. We've been coming here for many years. 
This this man is a, a legend. Ah, massive man, no car. Hmm. Me, me, roti, my, roti. My man, my bela. Rib soup. Rib soup. Rib soup. Tinga. Oh, Massaman number one now. Nah. Oh, what you try? What you try? Okay, now. Nah. Try that one too, now. Nah. Cup. Mm, oh, no, no. Yeah, Nunca no, cup. And, and maybe the shake from the lady as well. Oh, that'd be just a. Mm. Mix, mix berry, mix berry shake. That's all of your shakes are there. This place is cheap, but the quality is second to none. And there's a reason why it's always packed. Pupo has ordered a meal about three minutes ago. And it's here already. There's beef, fried beef with uh, garlic, nuotot. Quick, eh? So this is the rib soup he's uh, made me try. I'll give it a try in a minute. Some rice and serving chili and some how you say it in Thai there the, the lemon manao manao that's it lime we call it but they call it manao let's uh, give it a try yum and here it is that's the reason we've come Real thick gravy. Beautiful big portions of slow cooked beef. And potato. Oh, wow. That's what you want. Every time we come, I forget how spicy this actually is. The Massaman, I suppose we are used to in Australia. Very little spice on here. But this one packs a punch. <laughs> so that was lunch. Coming in a total of 470 baht. So about $18 for the Massaman, the soup, uh, Pupes, Nua Todd, uh, rice and a couple of drinks so if you're into Massaman I tell you what that is a restaurant you do not want to miss um, yeah so we're gonna see if she's made up the room uh, we haven't shown you the room where we're staying uh, yet so if she's cleaned the room we'll show you through that and then off to the market tonight oh well, yeah we just rocked up back here at the hotel and uh, house cleaner was still cleaning the room so let's give you a bit of a look around this is a, a suite so in regards to this hotel it's as good as it gets room top here large big ceilings so it gives it a little bit more feeling that the room's a lot bigger than what it is and we make our way into the bathroom Got a bath, rain head shower, and then into the toilet area, nice big basin, mirror, and wardrobe with the safe down there, and then outside she's still cleaning so walk around it. See that door section here. Table area. Deck chairs. 
all under cover. So if it's a bit inclement, you don't have to worry about rain. Um, private access into your villa. And then you share this pool with five others. I think maybe five, could be four, but one, two, three, four others. So five in total. And then just over the top of the roof, you can see a big Buddha. So they're value for money, and the friendliness of the staff make a massive difference. And they make you feel nice and welcome. And breakfast uh, is quite nice. Omelets, egg station, um, Thai international, and uh, pastries, and your cereals as well. And you've also got the fitness centre to uh, keep you busy if you want to uh, keep the holiday tummy down as much as you can. So this is us five nights here and we've now got two to go and then off to Patong for three nights before we come home. So there's a little uh, cruise around um, Watch Along and the restaurant Nahan Beach. We're going to split this into two, um, so we'll see you at the uh, night market as long as the weather holds up. We're uh, a bit unsure, it looks a bit grey outside, but as long as the weather holds up, we'll see you tonight at the night market.